Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Erica and Marissa. So today I want to try something really fun and like high key with a really bright background, but turns out I only had my two B1Xs with me uh, charged up and ready to go. And to get a nice even white background, you really need to use two lights generally, right? We want to get a good spread across it. So what I've done instead is I have one B1X back there and it's bouncing off the white wall in the studio, spreading out. And then I put a scrim gym between the light and my subjects. That means this is becoming their background and also basically like a free hair light. It's gonna rip across and really kind of give them a light from the back. To light the front of them, because I want a big, nice, even source, but I want a little bit of punch, I've got this Westcott seven foot umbrella. It is silver on the inside, so it's specular, but it's seven feet, so it's soft, right? So we get that good mix. And because it's so far away and because the, all the light wrapping around, I don't need any kind of fill. The, basically light just bouncing around the studio as it fills. So nice and simple. Um, I've got my camera here. I'll show you what we got. So I'll do one light at a time, just to kind of show you guys what's going on here. Let's see. Right. So I'm gonna just fire the background light. So I don't have to waste any good expressions yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna just fire the background. And we can see that even with just that light firing, there's actually light wrapping around and they did need to save a good expression because see, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Um, so. <laughs> But really, I mean, even this alone is not terrible, right? Some reflectors out here, and that could actually work for you. But I like to clean it up, so I'm gonna add my key light, which is my umbrella. I'm gonna turn off the background light for a second, just to show what this one looks like by itself. Come this way a little bit, yeah, there we go. All right, good, and we can see there that we have a drab, plain background because the background light's not firing, right? So, and see, they don't even look happy. They're just like, oh, what's this? So then, all right, here we go. Now we've got all the lights. They're gonna miraculously look good, like professional models. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> now we have nice and bright. Now, this, this here, I'm keeping really close to the edge. I've probably, really, this is the shot that you had to do for an exam. Okay, let's look at Marissa's face. Nice. Yeah, zoom, zoom in there. Zoom in there. <laughs> yeah, look at how perfect Erica's face is. So I'm just gonna say, I don't wanna choose one or the other here, but, um, but we're gonna look at this, and, and you can see basically that we've got, um, we're way over the side here. We got lots and lots of white going on, but I just wanna be particular. You can see the highlights coming here. You can see how it's wrapping around very nicely, the light on them on the shoulders and stuff. You just wanna be super careful because you can see where the hair is breaking up here. We're gonna to start to get some break up, but that's totally acceptable for me for this. So let's shoot a few. So we wanna be like friends, not like that show, although that was a pretty good show. But uh, yeah, they're kind of friendly, they're working it. Good. <laughs> yeah, you know, having fun, loose, you know. Remember when you're shooting multiple people, you're gonna want to shoot a lot because each person's doing their own thing. You know, so uh, you want to kind of play it because we got two personalities here, right? This isn't like a fixed shot, but let's do some fixed ones. So go ahead and do some with maybe with your arms folded. Yeah, yeah, like here we go, classic. Girl team, they're friendly, they don't actually hate each other. There's no rivalries here on Adorama TV. And again, I'm keeping it really close to the edge, just shooting a variety, having fun, kind of like, yeah, exactly. Wait. Yeah, just like that. Bring your, shoulder, bring your right shoulder towards me. Nope, your right shoulder. There you go. There you go. <laughs> your other right. Good. That's pretty. So right at me. Good. We're happy. We're good. If you're happy and you know. <laughs> good, good, good. Bring your arms up, Marissa, I'm chopping you off. Good. There we go. Yep, yep. There you go. Not all those. Where? <laughs> Somewhere, you know, above your waist level. All right. There we go. There we go. Fun, 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 fun. And again, I got the lights set here. They're beeping when they're ready so I can kind of work with it. We're just gonna shoot a bunch of fun ones. Good. <laughs> we actually got two where they were actually doing the same thing. It's amazing. We can't imagine that they did that. But I said two kind of just like pretty looking at the camera. There we go, one more. Last one. Really nice, good, good. What's nice about this light is that it's very flattering everywhere. Right, so even if they're being goofballs, it's nice and even. There's no weird shadows going on, which you'll get with hard light. Right, so the soft light is giving us that really overall kind of uh, flattering light. I guess is the best way to say it. It really gives us a lot of options, and they can move around. This is great if you want your subjects to move. This is really good for kids. Um, not so much for animals because you can't get them up in the air like that unless you want to hold them. Um, but for kids, it's great because uh, they can really be goofballs and they can look, uh, you know, wherever they want, and the light is nice and even no matter where they're looking. So nice and clean, nice and simple. So keep in mind, if you only have two lights, this is a great way to get a background You know that's really easy. You can basically put the light behind a silk, 
The silk becomes your background. You're good to go if you want a white background. And if you only had one light, like I showed you at the beginning, you could with some reflectors still make that work. Although you're probably gonna get a little bit of more blowout from the back. So for control, you really want to. So let me know how you guys use umbrellas. Do you like giant umbrellas? I feel like these are really popular, but I'm not sure. I think this is the first time I've used one in a video. So um, they're really popular. Let me know if you guys are using these giant umbrellas. Uh, I'll put the information of my two lovely models and these two as well, uh, in the description below, so you can follow them. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.